I've had a crick or whatever you call it in my neck. I get them with my back. Well, last time we thought the mic wasn't working, Ter Terry had sent me a text and was like, guys, just go. The mics are working fine. We, you know, we can't hear them. Uh, and I don't think it was last time either. So. Did you message him? I did. I sent Terry a message. I'm like, hey, are you watching? Terry, Is our yeah, mics working? We need some confirmation, Terry. <laughs> so, and I. There's a sign in sheet. Yeah, it's not. You could go and sign in up. if you're attending the meeting. Can <laughs> I see some young people interested? Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Okay. All right, we will bring this Village of Holly Parks meeting to order on January 2nd at 7.01. Uh, can you do a roll call, please? McCarney? Here. Alton? Here. Please? Here. Options? Here. Powers? Here. Lemon? Here. Rankin? Here. Uh, you have tonight's agenda in front of you. Does anybody have any changes or additions that they would like to make to, to tonight's agenda? Hearing none, I'd accept the motion to approve. So moved. Support. We have motion and support to approve the agenda for this evening. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, you've got the minutes from last month's meeting and our special meeting concerning <coughs> the, the little library at Crapel Park. Um, if anybody, if nobody has any changes or corrections that need to be made to those minutes, I would entertain a motion to. I'll approve. make a motion to accept the minutes for October 3rd, 2018. And the 10th, a special meeting on the 10th? Yep, you have separate. You should oh, do we them can't do separate. That. Can't do those together. Okay, well, then. Well, I second it. We've got motion and support for approval of the October 3rd, 2018 meeting minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. And the October 10th meeting minutes. Well, that the minutes for October 10th be approved as printed. Support. Motion and support for the October 10th meeting minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Do we have any public comment for this evening? Anybody like to speak before we get started? And you guys are? Come on up, guys. Okay. Yeah, you might as well speak. Yeah. We're trying to raise money for. Excuse me. You got to state your name and address. Yeah. Okay. My name is John Garber. My address is 9247 Osprey Bay Circle. Um, we're here to raise money for an organization called Blessings in a Backpack. They basically buy food from companies and then pack the, that food into bags and give them to children in the Holly schools that are at or below the poverty line. So any any kid that is getting a reduced lunch fee is, you know, like they, they're able to join this program. And right now they have 400 kids and they grew from like 250 last year. So they need all the money that they can get. And so to help them toward that cause, we were trying to set up a charity concert in one of the parks in Holly area. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so we're here to seek help from all y'all. Kind of yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, not next week. Yeah. Um, we do have uh, that, uh, we do have blessings in a backpack on the agenda for this evening for us to discuss. Um, you ha I think, was it you that I spoke with yeah. via email? Okay, and you had mentioned some other parks that were potential you know that you right could, yeah that you could we, were, we were thinking the, too the auditorium at the high school might be a good place it'd be oh. easier to collect admission fee right if we had done that yeah and that's something that we could maybe help you work with the with the school administration to set something like that up or we could do something here at the Carl Richter Center okay yeah um, we, have a nice, we have a nice auditorium too. I just have one have, you've discussed this with the school I take it no, not yet. Oh, well, this is just the that's initial first step. <laughs> yep. Discussing okay. The school. Yeah. Well, We're just here to kind of explore our options, I guess. Yeah. They it, they had reached out to me and uh, to find out what their options were as far as um, since we do music in a, in the park, that was kind of I think that was kind of the catalyst for the request as to how they could go about having a concert in the park to raise money for the charity. Does yeah. your band have a name? We're we're called No Fove. 
F-A-U-V. No, what? No, F A U V. Okay. <laughs> so, um, the, you guys are one of the bands that played at Holly Days last year. Right, in the uh, summer. So, just to jog anybody's memory, you might have heard, you've heard them before if you were yeah. at Holly Days. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was there, but I didn't hear the band. I'm sorry. Mm. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like you they were, were all good. Else. So. I was. <laughs> um, Thank you. We'll have your. We'll, like I said, we'll have can, discussion can in just a comments? moment. Have you found anybody to be a corporate sponsor for you? Because I think that's real important. Corporate too. sponsor? What do you mean by that? A corporate business. sponsor would be somebody that would uh, belly up with some money first of all, and then also serve as your liaison with the rest of the business community. Uh, one that's been really great about these sorts of things has been the Holly Moods. And they have a lot of connections within the community with a lot of uh, uh, businesses in the community. And they would be a one, one really good group for you to go before and explain what you're doing. I know they have a passion for the schools. They have a passion for these sorts of things. And I think there would be a very good chance that you would get great support from them. Okay. Did you you're looking to again? get money. Bottom line is you're looking to get money, aren't you? Um, yeah, basically. Yeah, money. That's what. And you can <laughs> ask for a donation of X number of dollars. Uh -huh. And then also there's support within the community. But once you have the Holly Moose supporting you, it's much easier to get things done knowing that there's an organization like the Moose that's behind your organization. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. maybe they could help with advertising for you, too. Oh, advertising yeah. with the newsletter. The Moose Lodge. M O O S E? Yeah, the Moose. Mm -hmm. It's okay. right in. Uh, right. Right on Broad Street there. Okay. Yeah. If you Next played at Holly Days, then they were right. Right, they were right, right there. there. They had oh, the beer okay. tent set gotcha. up right there. Yeah. Right, yeah, they were the so ones that I'm sponsored a, the beer tent. I'm a music instructor at Joyful Noise, and they have bands there too. So mm -hmm. I've talked to them about that, and they've expressed interest and ability to give us musicians, I guess. Right. <clears throat> so this would be like a several-hour event, and it would be like a one-time admission. You know, anyone that wants to come in at any point... Right. You wouldn't be required to stay for the whole thing, necessarily. Right. And yeah. Well, it's just my suggestion that you get, whether it be the Moose Lodge or the Kiwanis or somebody, also backing you. And I think you're more apt to have success in raising the monies that you need. Okay. Yeah. That's a good yeah, idea. I think the, I think we're their first stop, so they're 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 looking know. for direction, and that's exactly. the direction I would go. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Ideally, are you looking for this to be an outdoor venue or an indoor venue? Um, either it's not or. Like they haven't decided. Okay. It, I think they're trying to figure out what would be the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's great Maybe. to see young people wanting to do this. You know, I, yeah. I'm a former teacher. I know how many kids don't have enough to eat. But I agree with you that right. it is going to be easier to collect admission fees if you do it indoor. Yeah. But it also might be harder to gather the crowd too. Right. Yeah. Cool. Well. we're... All right, so we'll get back to that on our channel. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about it. And then if, if you can email me um, names <coughs> and, a, and email addresses and phone numbers of the okay. group so that I can keep in contact with you guys. Oh, yeah, sure. All we right. You can pass yeah. on those contacts that he was talking about to you as well. Yeah, I can get you I can get you the contacts to the moose and maybe make some introductions. Okay, well, thank sounds you. Sounds great. Well, it sounds very good. Oh, uh, thanks. I'd love to see this sort of thing. I know there's a couple organizations that would be very happy to get behind you on this. Mm -hmm. And the Moose, be, as I say, two or three other ones too. But the Moose is one that's been right up front with a lot of this stuff. But number one, you need to go to the schools and see what they what they have to say. Okay, yeah. So. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, moving on. We are, uh, have no old business. First business of the evening, selection of the chairperson. That happens every year. Okay. First meeting of the year. Hi, Nana. Chris Rankin to be the chairman. Okay, I'll support Horse. that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I put like in a, another that nomination? Sounds, I that nominate sounds Sarah. like a motion and support. <laughs> I nominate Sarah. Well, there's a there's a motion and support on the floor. Uh, okay, so we got to vote on that. For, all right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can we do a roll call on that? Well, that's bad. <laughs> I don't want the chairman. <laughs> vote for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes.
All right. Motion carries. Thank you very much for your vote of confidence. <laughs> Except for Angie. I said yes. <laughs> I just thought it would be kind of. No, I just thought it would be neat to have some. You'll never different. work in this town again. <laughs> Take your seat back in the audience. We also have to vote for a uh, co chair. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, well, how about Sarah? <laughs> I vote, I yeah. nominate Sarah for co. I'll support How's that. that? Yeah. <laughs> well, but you beat me to it. Okay, so we have a motion for the co chair to be Sarah McKinney and support. Uh, can you do a roll call for that too, please? Hutchins? Yes. Lee? Here? Yes. Lonnie? Yes. Powers? Yes. Did, I didn't hear Sarah say yes. I shouldn't call my name yet. Oh, yes. Rankin? Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Good. That was easy. <laughs> okay. And further discussion on the, oh, I'm sorry. Mo motion carries. <laughs> further discussion on blessings in a backpack. No, you do it. You certainly support it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We definitely are supporting it. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. When I was approached originally for it uh, as to have a concert in Crapel Park, um, the question was, can we... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Can we waive the uh, the rental fee for the park? And I uh, well, yeah. spoke with administration, and no, we can't. There is no pro no. There's no provision in our in our ordinances for waiving the the rental fees for even if it's for a uh, for a charity event. How about the auditorium? Well, that's the Carl Richter Center, so that'd kind of be under a different. Yeah. That'd be a different venue. There may venue. be provisions, though. They may have written that in. Good. Yeah, that they, might may, be a they may have a way to do that. Yeah. Um, one of the things I'll be proposing at the budget talks for the village this year is specifically that function is to, to write in a, a an ability to waive the fee for char or for you know for various groups as the council sees fit because right now we do not have that ability. By any chance, do you have how that's written? Do you know how that's uh -huh. written? The rentals. Not like off the top of my head, but I do know that it doesn't say anything about the, having the ability to waive the fee if the village so desires. What about what about for our own events? We always well for our own events, it's our events. Is it written in that way or no? Well, we had we don't charge ourselves. Yeah, we right. charge ourselves for using it. But I mean, it's seventy-five dollars mm. to rent the pavilion at Crapo, so that's not a huge hurdle when you're talking about a charity event. So even if we weren't Were able you to a specific <coughs> admission amount or was it going to be just one of those free will things um we talked about five or ten dollars uh, yeah we no, have, so we had chatted right about now. the ability to how it would be difficult at crapo to charge some sort of <coughs> admission fee because it we can't be. cordon off the park no, we don't have that ability and that's where the idea be. came up for you know maybe we have it in an indoor venue or maybe we find a different venue for it um but I don't know that we would be able to charge admission at any of our parks, <coughs> even though it is for a charity concert. Although we could, you know, strongly suggest that donations be made. Yeah, you'd have to advertise it as a charity <coughs> event. Right. It would. I mean, we'd have to definitely push the fact that it's a charity event. We've found so. in our church you get more doing that than you would if you, if you gave us an amount. Yeah, you, yeah, and yeah. I was just going to say, have you considered the idea of maybe doing stage fundraising, like in between yeah. the right. yeah. sets? Yeah, yeah. That's, that was right. So if it was an outdoor concert, that would be what we... That would as be opposed to charging it. In, in between every song, yeah. it would be, you know, hey, everybody dig into your pockets and <laughs> <laughs> right. no, pull out a $5 bill yeah. and put it in the bucket. What do you guys That's got the for the kids? kids? We're going to play another one, you know, and then just having somebody pleasantly passing a hat or walking yep. around with a jug. You know, making it, yeah. you know, leaving a tin on the ground in front of you doesn't necessarily, but if, you, if you're if you real outward about it like that, like, people will get what do you guys have for the kids, you know, and start and just tell people the statistics of, you know, what the situation is, why the money's needed, and, you know, people will give. Surely you have yeah, some that's a good idea. girlfriends that could do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, I was going to say that I would volunteer, but now that you mentioned that, I got nothing. <laughs> Karen, 
impossible last name. I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> um, she is the chairperson of the Holly Division of Blessings in a Backpack, and she told me that she would be present at the event were we to hold oh, it. Good. So I don't know how much she would be handling of that, but probably a good amount. The more help you get, the better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that that would be a snag as far as charging admission for a public park. And I'll yeah, and we, can't, we just can't do it. Right, that's what I mean. And I'll also, I don't think that um, it's real feasible to try to corral and keep everybody and know who paid and, you know. There's no, there's uh, no personally, I think you'd have better luck passing a hat and just, you know, between it, after every song, you know, give 30 okay. seconds of, yeah, this is what we're doing. Here's the kids that need it. Everybody, right. you know, give some money and have, have one or song? <laughs> But invest not, some time into finding an MC who can do that effectively for you, who doesn't mind asking for the money, who has the stage presence to grab the crowd's attention, to, you know, to present the facts, to present the information. Mm -hmm. Or even multiple people. Possibly. Well, yeah, you could have mm -hmm. one person. You'd have one person on the mic, and you have you know two or three people out in the crowd, or one or two, or however many people you yeah. think you need. Um, would just be out, right? Passing a hat. If we didn't have an admission fee, that'd be one less deterrent for people for to, people show, to show up. up. Too. Yeah. So because plus, then you have the a little less, a little more people walking by that just join in. Maybe would donate too. Right. That would be the. I think that would the indoor venue idea. I think the the. The problem with that is that you're not going to draw a crowd of people that didn't know anything was happening, and the music outside ten does tend to draw a crowd. So, okay, yeah, I think we'd I think we'd be better to do it um, at a at a venue like Crapo as opposed to inside. Yeah, here at the KRCC. One thing with Crapo is that there's no seating, though. No. No, there isn't seating, um, nope. but there could be. Right. Um, Did you I see my last email? Yeah, about uh, the, uh, the beach. Yes, but that's I mean that's out in that's a state park. Oh, okay. that's not under our jurisdiction. So, what beach? Um, Holly, Holly Rec area. Holly Rec. Oh, I said it's on Lakeside. Lakeside no. is ours. When people come to music at the parks, though, a lot of times they do bring their own chairs. Well, Especially if they know ahead they know. of time, yeah, they bring their, you know, or blankets. Or blanket, yeah. yeah, and the thing I was thinking is that Dickens <laughs> Festival has um, all those benches that they use every year. True. We could take True. 20 of them down to, down to Crapo. I don't Crapo see why they would be opposed uh, to letting us borrow. Located. No, I think they uh, George actually kind of said that we could borrow them already. I was going to use them last year. Kind of out of the way, but it's Crapo's right there. Yeah, Crapo's yeah. right downtown. It's, uh, you know, there's a lot of traffic. A lot of people would, you know, if there was music going on all day long, yeah. there would be a lot of Stand people. Stand listen for a few songs. Yeah. 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 As it is, when you have music in the parks anyway, people come. They're walking to downtown, and they, oh, and they or stop. Or they're walking and downtown, over. and they come over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it, it definitely does. Yes, Katie. Oh, yeah. interesting, yeah. Not much parking. Mm-hmm. Yep. Power. Electricity? Yeah, we could drag the generator out there. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we do have the power. We do have the trailer. <coughs> well, right, you guys set up the park. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we okay. can borrow the Dickens stage. Yeah. Oh. Great. That would that would that would draw some people. They saw the band up on stage and yeah. people sitting. You in guys the had that stage for holidays. Well, that was the mm, Oakland County stage. Yeah. I don't think we could park that. Well, we could park that in a parking lot at Waterworks, but I'm thinking down at the south end would be a. a little I'm not super familiar. The side of the on the river on the river opposite the of the parking lot. Waterworks is um, so Broad Street. If you're heading like going out of town. Crossing the mill pond, if you know where the mill pond is. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, okay. the building that they are you from the area? Did you um, did, have you I'm, heard? I live in Davisburg. So. Okay, so you're familiar well, with the building they tore down on the, the building that they tore down on Broad Street that used to be that big ugly building, and now it's just a little ugly coming pile of rubble. <laughs> Broad Street okay. is the street you're coming into Halley on. Okay, yeah. So. It's the end of Milford Road. You could go look at it, check it out. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, so would that stage be an option? If I just want to know Oakland, what our options well, the are. Well, Oakland so County stage I don't think would be, but Dickens Festival stage probably would be, and that's I mean that's plenty large. To is that similar? No, it's, what does that no, look like? it's not, not as a, big. Well, the, so the Oakland County stage trailer was a 
was a or the Oakland County stage is a trailer, like a semi trailer, and it opens up and it's you know 15 feet wide and 38 feet long. The Dickens Festival stage is something that we built just for that, and it's probably 16 by 20. It's a raised At platform. You have the gazebo. Though. But it's a raised yeah, platform, yeah. <clears throat> so I mean, it's you know it's three feet off the ground. It's okay. It's better than nothing. Right. Yeah. 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 The Oakland County stage, you can call and inquire with Oakland County Parks if it's available and what the fee is. I don't. Do they waive it for charity events? Do you know? Do you um, happen to know? We're allowed to reserve it um, once a year, where um, it's through a, a grant where they pay for us to have the ability to use it once a year. What about for a smaller organization doing a charity event? If uh, they made their own inquiry, do you think that they would? It's, it's is there a asking. fee? Absolutely. I know they do have grants. That would be Oakland County Parks is where you would, that's who owns that trailer okay. that you're talking about, the stage you used for, that we used for holiday. Okay, yeah. All right, got a couple things to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you an email. This is all on YouTube. Okay. You can yeah. <laughs> you can on YouTube? It on is YouTube. It? Yeah, yes, it is. Recorded. <laughs> 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 okay, that's a couple options. We'll keep in touch. Um, I'll yeah. send you an email with the information we talked about tonight. Give you some give you some places to call. Give you okay. some some contacts at the Moose. Um, Did you have an approximate date that you're looking at? Some spring or summer, basically. Okay. So we have a lot of time. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got a couple of months to help them set it up. You know, your last the the least amount of work for you for setup would be to do it at Crapo using the existing pavilion. It already has power, and then. Maybe we can arrange to borrow the benches yeah. and set up benches there for you. That would be the least amount of setup for you guys. Okay. Yeah, and you're out of the weather too because you're enclosed. Right. Well, the band is out of the weather. Yeah. 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 Sounds like we'll have to talk for a long I time. I really like. The band. I really, really like seeing the initiative <coughs> you guys are taking on. I think it's a great idea, and I do really appreciate you guys bringing this to our attention and taking taking that. Taking the reins and organizing that. That's really Thanks. helpful. Great. Thanks for helping us, everyone. We should do well. a write up, don't you think, Katie? Yeah. I, think, I, I think we should do a write up. There are a lot of good kids in Holly. Come on. That's right. Absolutely. The group the, at, at the Moose that he was talking about, too, for um, funding and advertising, whatever, how, however they'll help, there are also people, there are so many people that would probably help, say, do that, you know, passing the hat or whatever. I'm sure yeah. you can get help. If you I, don't have enough. I know I don't want to put anything extra on you, but you actually should kind of write it down and have kind of a, what we would call, I hate to make it sound really formal, but a business plan. And I think if you, and this would be yeah, a good experience. Yeah, like for I know you. what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> this would be a good experience for you for future fundraisers too, because there is kind of a set way to do it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, and, We'll help in any way that we can. It's a great idea. I don't want to discourage you in any way at all because I think it's something that should be done, and I hope you guys will follow through and do it. And it sounds like you will. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. We appreciate cool. it. Thank you. All right. All right. Moving on. Moving on uh, pins <laughs> for parks. Rick, I think this is your baby. Uh -huh. Oh, my on. gosh. Fill us in on what's going on. How where where, where well, are we at with it? I, I've done a fair number of fundraisers, and this one I'm probably more excited with doing than just about any. Uh, for those that you don't don't know, uh, we are doing the pins for park on February 22nd. We've had an agreement from Andrew Anderson, and for those who don't know who he is, he was from Holly, 23 years old. And he was a bowler of the year, hmm. professional bowler of the year. And when we talked about doing this, he, he was really on board with it. But the whole idea, we're hoping to have the Pins for Park be on the same day as we make an Andrew Anderson Day in Holly, which would be February 22nd. And what would that, we would have to send something to the board or send something from this parks to the board recommending that uh, February 22nd be Andrew Anderson Day. Uh, he's knowledge of this and he is very, very excited about it. 
the man that I'm working with on it that works with him said he was almost brought to tears thinking that the village of Holly would do something like this. A uh, couple reasons for doing it. Number one, it's the right thing to do. I mean, here we have somebody of the status of him in the bowling community, and we don't even acknowledge him. I mean, my God, this is huge. At 23 years old, to be the bowler of the year, I mean, he's the second youngest ever to win this award. We're just Andrew what? Anderson. And I tell people, when you get home, Google his name, and it's very impressive. And when you talk about somebody doing it upright, this kid has done it upright. Completed his uh, uh, studies at Oakland University uh, with a teaching certificate in four years, which is an accomplishment into itself. And once he finished his college, he went on and joined the Pro Tour. But in the meantime, <coughs> in that four years at Oakland, he won numerous, numerous national awards and international awards for his bowling. So he's somebody that's very well known in the Holly area and also uh, throughout the country for his bowling uh, exploitation or ex exploits. <coughs> and uh, in talking with them, their website hits over a million people. And that's what we're hoping to do is use a lot of advertising on their website to talk about the fundraiser and also uh, the Andrew Anderson evening at the bowling alley, the same night as uh, uh, the pins for the parks. So I don't think we'll have any problem selling the whole thing out. And he's already agreed to get at least two or three of his signed shirts. And those will be great for the silent auction or for the, for the auction. Right. So this is something to be really excited about. All the money is going to parks and uh, for beautification of the park, uh, help set up uh, Cyclone Park, uh, Henshaw Park, things that we need that we just don't have funding for. This is hopefully going to cover some of that or not all of it. Right. What's our Holly goal? Holly Lanes is, is pairing with us. Yes. Pardon me? Holly mm -hmm. Lanes is pairing with us. Oh, yeah, they're, 100%, they're, they're behind it 100%, Great. and he's very excited. He's apparently known Andrew since he was 10 or 11 years old. So he's followed his career. Uh, Holly Lanes is his home lanes. Hmm. So he's bowled there probably hundreds, maybe thousands of times. Uh, we're looking for a corporate sponsor. Well, I'm looking for a corporate sponsor. And uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna go with that. But uh, we do have a banner that can be put up over the road. The Moose has already agreed to pay for it, so it won't cost the parks anything. They're on board with it, and they want to help any, any way they can. Great. And in the end, I'm hoping, and this is maybe a little far-reaching, is that as you come into town, uh, in a couple of ways that you come into town, that we'll have signs posted up. This is the home of Andrew Anderson, PBA Bowler of the Year 2018. If you fly, fly in, if you drive into Flint, you'll see signs posted up like that for Mark Ingram, who won the Heisman Trophy. Yeah. And uh, you go into Mount Morris, there's Ryzen, who is a big star from the Mount Morris area. If you drive into town, you'll see a sign stating that. And this PBA Bowler of the Year isn't the Heisman Trophy, but for Boeing, it is the Heisman Trophy. Was this it's 218 right. that he was the year, that was the year he was Pro Bowler? Yes, this last past year. year. Yes. Just, it, it happened maybe a month TV. and a half, two months I ago. I just watched some of it. <laughs> yeah. That was but cool. I'm open yeah. for any comments on this. Uh, and uh, by way of handling this, we have a committee of five, and it's called VOHP, Village of Holly Parks, VOH slash P. It's a 5013C. And uh, for right now, I think the money's going to go into possibly there or to another fund that's a nonprofit for the corporate sponsor if they want to belly up with a couple thousand dollars. And I'm hoping the corporate sponsors will. Yeah. That would be nice. Our goal, my goal anyways, is to raise about $40,000 for the parks. Whether that happened, I don't know. But that's kind of my adding it up and everything else like that. I wouldn't be surprised if you do it. 
Well, the thing that's really exciting about it, I don't know how this is going to work out. It, it makes things a little bit more complicated, but Fox Sports has bought out the PBA. So they're going to be telecasting uh, bowling much, much more extensively in uh, the very near future. You say, well, how can that complicate things? I wanted to put his picture up on the sign. So, oh no, you got to get approval on that. Mm. Yeah. Once you get the corporations involved in it, they're really touchy about it. Uh, but he has agreed to help us in any way that he can. And the other thing that's a little bit more complicated is that he will not be able to be there that night that he gets his award. His brother will accept the award in the, on his behalf. He is in a big tournament, and he can't walk away from the tournament. He yeah. has to be at this tournament. Okay. okay. It's exciting. It's I hope everybody exciting. gets behind it. I think it is something that... It'll be a blast. February 22nd. February 22nd. Mark your calendars. Uh, $25 per person. And where do people sign up? Well, that's the other thing. This has to be changed. We're at Holly Lane's. Yeah. And also uh, Carl Richter. That's not on there. This has to be changed. Oh, it's it's gonna, oh, the so event is going to be at the both places? Pardon me? No. The event is going to be at both places? No, no. You can buy register. tickets. Oh, okay. When you want to buy tickets. We have 120 tickets that are available. And, uh, and you can get those at Holly Lanes or here at KRCC. Yeah, Meeting right. Meeting the front office. For and, the uh, yes. and the first thing the I said offices. with talking with Brian over to the Holly Lanes is that why don't we put it on a website where they can buy them online? He says, absolutely not. It gets oh. really messy. Okay. He says they've done them before where they have Facebook or uh, purchase them online. He says, don't do it. It's a nightmare. He says the easiest way to do it is they can buy the tickets here, buy them there. We get the money, it's done, it's over with. He says if you go through them, they're going to charge you 5 right. 6%. Right. But they can't and register at the door then because it says registration at 630. If the tickets are available. Oh. And also, you notice, I don't know, they didn't put it down here. There is $25 per person, and then it's $10 if you just come to eat. I don't see that on here, and that has to be changed, too. That if you don't want to do the bowling, you just want to show up for the festivities, it's $10, and uh, they'll have pizza and drink and that sort of thing. Okay. All right. Any cool. questions on it? Not a one. My drink kind of are we helping as the ah. parks? Are we going to be there, like, to help? Are we Anybody? have you down for everything. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, is, is the parks... <laughs> Is the Parks Commission going to be there okay, well, so I guess as a whole seeing as to be there to help? Seeing as they're the ones that are going to solely benefit Okay, that's from what all I meant. So what, what will we be doing? Is what uh, there'll be a lot I'm of I'm actually to trying do. to get to. <laughs> okay, so have you contacted these surprise bowlers? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay, we probably need to get on that. It goes from 7 to what? That's until about nine o'clock. Well, yeah, but we don't want it to be a surprise to the surprise bowlers. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, I'm bowling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good luck. I mean, are we like not gonna, waiter know, and waitressing, or what, what well, we what I envision, what we need volunteers for, we need somebody at the door, and we're going to need somebody running the silent auction, or running the auction, uh, and just somebody to wander around in case there's any problems. Well, the first three things that came in were shirts. His shirt with his signature on it. You say, yeah, that's no big. I'm oh, going to bet you that brings uh -huh. two or three hundred bucks to have yeah. his shirt signed. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Then, I mean, to, uh, to people in the bowling community, I mean, I'm not yes. much of a bowler, so I, but I mean, I even, I'm not much of a bowler, and I know who he is because he's from Holly, yeah. and we've got yeah. this thing yeah. going on. And, uh, and I am also hoping that part of the work that the <clears throat> parks will do is, uh, <coughs> solicit donations for the auction. So, uh, whether it be curtains going to there or A's, I'll start doing that this week. And we're hoping to have about 15 or 20 items for the auction. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and right. as I say, on the same token, we're also trying to get a couple corporate sponsors. And uh, their name will be over everything, everything once we get it done. Right. 
Well, before we get <coughs> too far off track, I, I guess I'll make the formal motion that we recommend to council to um, create a resolution to make February 22nd Andrew Anderson Day in the village of Holly. Support. Sure. Support. All right. That's part. Motion and support. Um, let me get a roll call for that. Cammy. <coughs> uh, yes. Elton. Yes. Franken. Yes. Reese. Yes. Hutchins. Yes. Lemon. Yes. Howard. Yes. All right. So. Now this will this go on the next the next meeting is next week. Will this go on the new business for next week? The council meeting. Uh, maybe. The, the the agenda it, it, it I'm sure it could I mean the agendas go out tomorrow um, I don't know how quickly do how morning. quickly do our recommendations make it to the, in the okay so then uh, I don't think it'll be a problem to I'll for see, it to, I don't see any yeah I don't see any reason it wouldn't be on well, Tuesday's agenda by my <laughs> uh, <laughs> do I need to write it and send it to her or is that something the administration can handle <coughs> oh you, Oh, okay, perfect. Good. <clears throat> I um, Any I'm not in town on the 22nd. I do fully support raising money for the parks, and you share and I share your enthusiasm with that. I am not part of the bowling world and don't have all the enthusiasm <laughs> you do for this. But I would be there, you know, in mm -hmm. with my with all of my enthusiasm for raising money for the parks. But we are not going to be in town on the 22nd. Uh, that's a bummer. Bummer. We'll miss you. Sorry. <sighs> All right. Any further discussion on the Pins for Parks punt fundraiser? Hearing none, we'll move on to number four, remodeling 504 and a half Maple. Um, Rick, you want to start us off on that? Uh, once again, I talked earlier about VOHP. That's a nonprofit that we've set up. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> Over the last two months, we've sent out a letter for request for funds to the state of Michigan, uh, also to Congressman Sulkin's office. It's gone out to about five different offices, but because of the transition with the new offices, off, or new congressman and state senator coming in, we haven't heard much back from it. Uh, but it is a request for, I think it's 288000 and that would take care of the remodeling of 504. And then uh, it also it would give a two-year program. And a two-year program for what? We're hoping to make this a senior center. And what we're hoping to do is to make the park a senior-friendly park. Where uh, one of the items that people have said is that they want a senior garden. I know there's a garden here in town, but it isn't real convenient for a lot of people. So this would be a, a one-acre garden. I have a couple of volunteers that will handle everything related to the garden, helping people get whatever we need to do to have that senior garden. Mm -hmm. I had another person said they would like to set up a croquet field, uh, things like that. Uh, I saw Mark the other day. He still would like to put in a volleyball court there, although a lot of seniors don't play volleyball. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> the idea is to make it a senior friendly park and the building to be a building that's a senior recreation area and uh, nothing like it in the area. And that's uh, where we're soliciting and asking for the funds. I'll be following up with Senator Johnson's office. I've talked to their office already and they seem to think it was a real good idea, but they would just have to find a place to pull out the money okay a couple of things um first off i think we might be putting the cart before the horse a little bit here um the idea of remodeling 504 and a half i think should be something that we discuss more as a board since right. we've only no i agree we've I really only just yeah um we've really only discussed it as committee right um, so that should be something that's coming before us and i think you've got some plans yeah here's a diagram as, as far i only have one left uh, so if you wouldn't mind paying it pass it along I had uh, take a look at it and pass it along a builder came in and did an architectural rendering of what the outside would look like and the, I think inside of it so I think the idea for this space is first the, the phase one of the remodel of the building would simply to have restrooms installed in it that could be used at the correct park. yeah 
and then the second phase of it would be to remodel it so that it has some just basically some activity space um, that could be kind of programmed uh, into whatever activities are necessary um, well, second some different things to the front too, to make yeah it got rid of those garage doors um, secondly, um, seeing that uh, Tony Brinker with KRCC has recently uh, started a new program for seniors right here at Carl Richter Center, um, I think we need to reach out to her. I have, and, I have too. <laughs> okay, so she's yeah. aware of the of yes. the idea. Okay, because that would be a great. I mean, that would having it here. And pair and you know pairing up with her that could be a great incubator Absolutely. for the program going forward if we oh, no if question. we're able to get the funds for the remodel and remodel it into a center that is senior friendly mm -hmm. I think having it here first and kind of getting people used to the fact that it that it's happening and then moving it over to there and have that be a specifically a senior center um, I think that would I think it'd be a behoove us to to partner up with her on that. Linden has such a great program and we've certainly got enough seniors here that we could do Yeah, I mean quarter of our population is over 60. Yeah, so let's get them I have the numbers in there too and it's yeah, it's a huge population. Yeah, we've got 2,000 seniors in Holly, so just in the village. Yeah, everything we've talked about is collaboration with Carl Richter and Tony. Okay, yeah, it's I wasn't I didn't know if we had gotten even if anybody if had contacted. The best her. case scenario, we got the building remodeled and everything. There's still a lot of room for seniors to come be over here walking, whatever the case might be. Right, and they, and it's not it's not beyond the realm of possibility that we could have some activities here and some over there. Oh yeah, I mean, exactly. We've got enough. We have enough seniors. We just need to you know build it and they will come. Yeah, that's right. That's what you said. So, um, a lot of people from Holly go all the way over to Linden to that center because they have so much going on. Are you talking yes. about the loose Center? Uh -huh. Yeah, I've been over there too touring it. It's something else. Break yeah, this plan. Does it include place. a kitchen? It's hard to tell. It could include a kitchen. Uh, the one left side, as you're facing it, is pretty much all storage for the uh, Dickens Festival. And we're hoping all of that, Brian, gets moved out of there <laughs> and that can be used <laughs> for a space. Uh, <laughs> for a kitchen, I'd like to see a banquet area in there. Uh, one thing that people going around surveying people is they really think a computer lab would be great. So there's a lot of ideas out there, and as it stands right now, I mean it's really a blank canvas. We can. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're thinking about emptying out that last bay and having that be used too, it seems to me like that's a perfect location to put up a concession stand or to have that kind of a window so that could become a concession stand right oh, no question about it. yeah if you're gonna have well you maybe and maybe that's not even something that would be necessary or needed anymore if it's not going to be tournaments those volleyball tournaments in my idea in talking with different people it's just a shame to see seven acres go to waste I mean that's a beautiful park there really yeah, yeah. there's definitely a lot of space and, and, and room for improvement Right. Yeah, um, and, uh, but I think with this discussion, we just need to get everybody on board um, with the idea yeah, of okay. creating a senior center at Cyclone Park. Um, and if everybody's not prepared at this time to say yes, that's a great oh, no, idea. No, I wouldn't expect then it. Then we no. can Let's see what we've got. shelve it until the next meeting. And you guys, if you need to do some research, if everybody's just on board and thinks that that's a great idea, then we'll make a motion. Can um, I was looking at the. I guess I had my attention more on the, the plan in front of me. You, we, there was discussion with Tony Brinker about merging the two. Is that what you no, were No, no discussion. Collaboration only. Collaboration that we make sure that we're working together and right, using both buildings. Right. We don't want to duplicate services no. right. if she, or if that's programs. A, if that's a going program, if it's successful and she's planning on keeping it going, are we then looking at competing or are we... You know, one no, of the things that I think you have to realize, Sarah, and complimenting. I've done a little bit of research on this. This Carl Richter is not an ideal center for a senior center because of the walking and sure. parking. And you say, well, how far can a senior walk? Well, the older seniors 
you're looking at about 70 to 75 steps. I understand completely, yeah. So I agree. that's why we looked at Cyclone Park. I mean, this is a beautiful facility, but the people can't get in here. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of 55 to 70 year olds, 75, that can use this facility for walking in a lot of different events. Right, so I, I think we've got a great opportunity to have both of activities them. at both places because we can certainly, I mean, we, like we and said, we, we've got the people. The same people. I mean, Township and Village, there, same people. Right. There's been the need. It's been, I mean, people have been asking for a senior citizen. Senior center on yeah. Facebook and you talk to people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So then between Rick and me and Tony and all, and I've, I've actually met with Tony, and this is like a starting point at least, because they've been like begging for a place right. and something right. to do. Because and and, yeah. all they've been doing so far is having their, what is it, the third Thursday of the mm -hmm. month, I think, having a little luncheon. Right. So this is a Weekly. starting point. Yeah, this is once a week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. She says it right. It's just a starting. Yeah. It's a blank canvas. This is great. We're all involved in just uh, designing this so it fits the needs of the senior community here. This isn't going to happen for a while, but the senior citizen part here is starting tomorrow. Right. And then we'll just go from there mm -hmm. and hopefully work into this. Yeah, and I and I, like I said, I don't see any problem with having the senior having a, a senior activities here mm -hmm. and complementing them with additional right. services and activities out at the park because there's things that you can do at a park that you can't do indoors and vice versa right so I think that they will complement each other nicely yeah I mean they'll have the walking center here we'll have a walking trail outdoors there I mean we could do no, I don't I don't mean to I, you know I hate to mm -hmm. sound stereotypical but we could put up a shuffleboard court or yes. you know something <laughs> whatever <laughs> right and I don't mean to complicate the issue, but before we vote on doing that, we did already take a vote last year and all agreed on putting in volleyball courts in a volleyball tournament and gave permission and went to council and he was given permission there, right? And, and it went He's away. Kind of backed off. And it went away and it backed off. But what if it? What if he comes back with that? Can we? I do, talked do we to do him. He said no. Is there a formality <laughs> we can make to renege on that as opposed to just giving out permission to two different entities? That's a good question. I talked to Mark. He says. The most he'll possibly do is put in one volleyball. Okay, so possibly one well, volleyball. I don't know. Is there an expiration on approvals that there we give be. for something like that? Right, and it never got started. Yeah, he was supposed to start almost immediately. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Was. he was. Right. Be, you know, I, I think that would be the the end of that okay, good, the then. end of that contract. Yeah. So then, if he does, uh, so if that contract is gone. Then if he puts in another one, then he has to come back to us right. to he would, re... Yeah. We'll he would that. have to come yeah. back and, and resubmit his idea because the one before was for six courts. Six. And, right. well, and if he just wants to put in right. one... Yeah. Well, if, which I, if he were to try to do that still, put in six courts, I don't think it's an appropriate place to put a senior center. It's no. going to be full no. of tournament. No, absolutely. Senior no. Right. no. absolutely not. And well, we and it would be used for tournaments. What we want to emphasize, this is a senior <laughs> park but friendly for everybody. Of course, for sure. yeah. Family I mean, family. we don't want to get into this thing that it's only seen. No, it's for everybody. Right. I want to get well, in. Well, it's a public park, so I, I want to play really shuffleboard. To be yeah, I There was a very active <laughs> senior center in the, what, is, what we used to call the community ed center, which right. is now you can take advantage of that. But I went angry. They the had line, line dancing. They is there shuffleboard at the beach? Band. Do a, they <laughs> is there had a sewing group that they brought in, sewing machines. They had a really going group. But then when when uh, Anne passed away, mm -hmm. uh, two. two. Okay. Maybe we'll get Tony to let us have a tournament. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, is uh, what's the general feel on? You guys want to take a, a month to to look oh, over stuff? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do I'd like some to make reviews. a motion that we uh, proceed to look into this more in depth. Yeah. Okay, we'll, I love we'll the idea though. So table far. or postpone or whatever yeah. the correct term is for waiting a month to, yeah. to make a decision I'll make on that it. That motion. And that's more. great. I think that's and the I'll right way to go because yeah, we don't. Nothing can happen we, unless we get money. On it. We right. had to get the grant <laughs> paperwork started right away because it's time sensitive. Yep. Um, which is why that was submitted before the we had this conversation because those things are time sensitive. So, um, yeah. worst case have. scenario, we get the money and we have to build a 
we have to remodel it. The, right. It's pretty Build it, the building they will come. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I, but I, we'll I have postpone. to say, I, since I've talked about this with a lot of people, there are a lot of seniors that are somewhat up in arms that we don't have one here in Holland. Right. Yes. Oh, I don't disagree yeah. at all. I, I think yeah. we should. As they should be. I thought that that would be one of the things that happened at Carl Richter sooner than it has. I thought that would be one of the first things that was done. Um, it's been a little slower I know people coming to fruition than to I would like. Bridge. They live in Holly, drive all the way over there to play bridge. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. They, play, they have euchre over there, too, yeah, every Thursday. Yeah, they, we could have a bingo hall. They have nice meals. Yeah, yep. there you go. Mm -hmm. All and right, so we'll, we'll postpone um, discussion and a vote. Until and February's I'll meeting. contact the people that we submitted the grants to and let them And then maybe you can give us an are. update. Pardon me? And then you can give us an update on what the uh, on what their what status is next month. Right. Okay. Sounds great. Uh, moving on, number five, music in the park. Um, this year's music in the park, um, I've kind of been soliciting bands to um, for for the shows. Um, last year we had three. We had you know June, July, and August, and then we had all the bands at Holly Days in September. Um, this year I already have six bands Ooh. that are interested. Um, that I've I'll be well I haven't yet, but I'll be sending emails out in the next few days. Um, I told them I would contact them at the beginning of the year. They're all itching, ready to go. Good. Um, so my thought was that we would do it either every other week or every week um, we looking for in Friday. I'm looking for input house. I'm not uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not trying to run it all by myself um, I would love to see it weekly if we could, would if we could swing it because of because consistency is what you need to yes. start right. bringing crowds People right get used to that every Friday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How often does Fenton have their services? Every Thursday. Thursday. Every Thursday. Yeah. Every Thursday. Yep. There was discussion on Facebook about coordinating with the car show. I was just about to bring that up. And I, <laughs> and I, I don't want to make a decision on that yet because I want to talk to Bob Alsop first mm -hmm. um, because I don't want, I, I want to make sure he, you know, I don't want him to think we're competing. I want this to be a collaborative effort with Bob and the car show. Um, so the only downfall I could see with doing it in collaboration with the car show is that parking is tough. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that avoid downtown Holly even just passing through or trying to get home on Wednesdays because it's hard to just get through with traffic. Right. It's um, terribly It's deep. very hard to find somewhere to park. Mm -hmm. I would be opposed to it only to the because show. of the parking. It's a nightmare. Well, the there. township meetings used to be on Wednesdays at the car show just to go to the township meeting downtown you had to walk blocks yeah. yes yeah it was a booger so for that reason people that aren't and those people are already taking up all the parking to go to the car show I don't know that we would necessarily have them walk over to the park and enjoy what we're doing at the park instead right you know or so addition. so that it might be like it may be pulling from the, the crowd that they are that they're trying to generate and I don't know that we'll necessarily bring in more people because it, it's because so hard to get in but you know I, I had a suggestion if if you like what about Sundays in collaboration with the farmers ah. market Sunday afternoon with the along with farmers market you're still gonna be there yeah. right <laughs> and yours goes they go till 2 Time to say, yeah. are you expanding hours this year Not this year. hmm no. that was actually my favorite idea that was mentioned because Saturday evenings just point. don't seem to they didn't seem to catch on mm -hmm. um, I don't think Friday I mean, night would be any no Friday people, I don't think it would yeah. be but if we had people that are coming to the farmers market um, they can enjoy the music while it's going on what about if we did morning concerts it's happening the entire time that the farmers market goes we go from 10 to 2 mm-hmm we can do that. <laughs> it's just it's, it's free music for everybody who comes to the farmers market. What time is church and in session? Mm. There's an eight o'clock mass. I don't know. <coughs> a noon mass, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, noon. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of conflict that might cause. I don't think it would cause much because they would also probably enjoy hearing the music on the way in and the way out. 
Yeah. We can't use their parking <laughs> what about lot during? any time of the day, no matter what, they'll block it off. Right. I so don't really, sorry, I don't really see that many people like parking, going to church and parking in the Crayfield parking lot. They usually just fill up their parking lot. Sure. So right. there's usually, I've never seen that parking lot like completely full or anything. The church the or the Crayfield? The Crayfield parking lot. Yeah. Like it will get busier, but I've never seen it completely full. So For the know, farmer's market you're talking. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Chris, hmm. yeah. One thought on weekends activities. Our biggest competition is up north and every other town that's got something going. Mm -hmm. yep. That's the problem with weekends. Mm -hmm. If you don't leave for your place up north or wherever festival, like Frankenmuth and everything else that's going on, mm -hmm. I'd like to see something during the week here in town for us because and that's a valid and that's a, you know that's Saturday valid too. Because you know, like I say, every weekend you go up. No Friday night, everybody's on. 75 and 23 going somewhere. Friday night is the weekend. And then there's all these other festivals around, you know. Right. It takes away from everybody else, you know. I like to see something during the week where people can sit down and go, oh, man, I'm tired. It's, you know, it's Tuesday or it's Thursday. You say, man, geez, you know. Fenton does Thursday. Fenton does well on Thursday. Yeah, they do Thursday yeah. night. And, you know, uh, well, we would do well as long as we have good music and consistency and promotion. Mm -hmm. So we, we would be well talking no Monday or Tuesday probably? Do you want to compete with Fenton for Thursday? No, no, no. Absolutely so not. it would have to be Monday or Tuesday if you don't want to do it Wednesday for the car show. And Friday's I, out because mm -hmm. of that's the weekend. I do Tuesdays. I would because, do Monday. Yeah, everybody else. A lot of times you take uh, if you work in a shop or something, good. you uh, add a Friday and a and a Monday, and you're going oh. up north or going mm -hmm. someplace on vacation where Tuesday's Council. a good day. <laughs> and Wednesday's the car show. So that's <laughs> right. A draw for them. Mm -hmm. And we have parking problems. I'd like to try a, a Tuesday. I like I the idea of having music when I go to the farmer's market, though, too. Because yeah. I yeah. go, we take the kids, and you know, I usually do some shopping there, but also I run into people I know. I'm hanging out there, anyways, chit chatting. It'd be nice to have some live music or to walk over to the park right afterwards and like making, you know, make a morning of it. Mm. Just, just more ideas. Things. They're all yeah. just ideas. We've I also like spring. Joe's idea of having more things happening during the week. Yeah, me too. And the biggest thing is that we're looking at a, at a bunch of homies draw. It's going to be our hometown people for something for them to do. Yeah, something. And for, maybe for something somebody from Fenton, they go, hey, let's go or check out Tuesdays and Thursdays. We'll <laughs> go get some music. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, maybe, and they can get a carry out from the Red Devil or something yeah. and sit over in the park or where we have the music and just enjoy themselves and sit down and take it easy. You know, it gives you something to do during the week. But like Fridays and Mondays and, and weekends <laughs> suck because everybody's gone. Yeah, I think that might have been part of the reason why Saturdays just never had yeah. much of a draw. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let me. F I will float the idea to um, the bands that I have. How would they feel about Tuesday? Right. I want to make sure that that's going to be all right with with the bands that I already have kind of waiting in the wings mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes with bands they might have a gig for a wedding somewhere or right. you know, uh, open house or I don't know yeah, yeah. what they're up to on a weekend because everything happens on the weekends in our very short Michigan summer <laughs> right <laughs> so well. gone. are any of these bands you said you have about six lined up that are yeah. real interested yeah, yeah. Um, and you'd like to do like one every week that's are any weeks. of them interested in doing it like more than once more than one well, probably time. yeah i mean one of the what the band that was here is actually one of the bands that's interested um what's her name um valley or what's her first name caitlin caitlin um she sh was interested uh -huh. and then there was one other person for, or the other another group from actually there was three groups from holly days that were interested in doing it oh, good. um the band that won the competition is interested i've forgotten their name i haven't spoken with them in a while I was just wondering, but you know, are are you going to be in a bind trying to fill no, every week? No, it won't Good. be. It won't be difficult to find. Uh, now Good. that I've kind of gotten some some feelers out there, there's people. I've got people contacting me now. I would love to see so. Tuxedo Junction come there. Terrific, and I I don't know if Dave Heifel is still in that. Or oh that. yeah, he actually um, Suzanne offered him up. <laughs> <laughs> they're fantastic. They really are. They wear the World War II uniforms and. They are, I agree. I would like to see at least one or two during the 
farmer's market during the summer. I, I think it's something that we should at least try, experiment, see how it works. We don't have to do it all every week right off the bat. Try it once or twice and see what type of response you get from it. Right. And with the possibility that maybe this is the way to go the following year. I think people would enjoy the music as they go oh, shopping. Oh, yeah. I don't, I, I don't doubt that and, at all. Uh, my, only con- my concern with the farmer's market is the generators. Because I know when those were going um, during holidays, you couldn't be at the farmer's market. You couldn't hear the stage at, that was out on Broad Street. You couldn't hear that. Oh, really? They yeah. need the generators at Crapo Park? Okay. Yeah, they need the generators to run okay, that, um, the food truck. And there was, yeah, I think there was one the or two trucks. other vendors yeah. that have refrigerators or something going on. There was, I think there were two generators running. Yeah, it's just the food trucks. So there were two generators running, and... and well, that's that's my done. that's my my hang up on doing it on Sunday. It wouldn't affect the people in the park the listening, but you may cloud. Hmm. It may be too much for the or too much. It would overpower noise. anybody shopping. Yeah, they wouldn't. It, they wouldn't probably be able to appreciate it as much. Probably. Okay. Do they have yeah. a varied uh, musical genre, or is it all? Yeah, they're all over the map. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Well, all yeah, over the I map. think that would be good because that way you get. Right, you get different people, and they'll come yeah. in, and you know, some people love it, and some people won't. But that's you know part of the it's part of having a, a weekly show is variation. Well, and you also have to look at you don't necessarily need a band. I have two or three people that just get up and sing folk music. And it's Jerry great. Welling is fantastic. You ever heard Jerry? Oh yes, he is great. He and did, did that I think would be great. Ago, Not right? necessarily have a band. But have someone that's just singing Irish tunes, singing whatever tunes they want to sing. Yeah. And uh, it does create a festive atmosphere. Do you have a thought on that? We, like, usually one of the vendors will play music. So oh, I agree that like, people like to listen to music. Yeah. And if you're concerned about the generators, we can always ask them or tell them to <laughs> park farther down. I think create if if they had some sort of uh, container, like a well, barrier. Well, if they parked at the south end, that would be better. Well, and could we just maybe put the generator and put the generators further away and just you know run a hundred foot extension cord? Right. Yeah, we could. As opposed to having it in the bed of the truck next to the stand. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, generators that would be hard to ask because it's just the two two trucks. two trucks that have generators that yeah. were there before. Like all of the, I mean, they have trailers with refrigeration, but mm-hmm. it's not like a generator noise. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Yeah, I know, but I know what you're talking about, Chris. I forgot about that. But if they did, if she was able to park anybody who's going to use a generator at the south end, yeah, then like the I said, or just wouldn't be in between the music and the right. crowd. Right. Yeah. Just yeah. like make them go back towards the track mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or just move the generator. <coughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I mean I, yeah, just have and then have a longer extension okay. cord than right. they, well, they have to provide a 200 foot lead or something to their <laughs> generator. When you so go to the every... eastern market in Detroit yeah. on the weekends or during the week, well usually on the weekends, they'll have guys there uh, playing a trumpet or a banjo yeah, yeah. or you know, oh, yeah. you just pass the hat and throw them some money and it's it's kind of nice down there. Yeah. And now the clock's right. Good. It's a miracle. So it, was half, it was a half an hour slow when we got here. Now it's correct. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> 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 All right. Little, that was a little weird. Um, okay, so um, good discussion. Gave me a lot of ideas. I will put together something, and I'll present it at the next meeting, and we can vote on it and make sure that everybody's on board with it. And by all means, send me suggestions in the meantime. If you think of something. Uh, I'm all ears. You mean date wise or band wise? Yes. Okay. <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> uh, last but not least, our budget discussion. Um, I know I didn't specifically request that everybody bring their budget ideas, but uh, this is typically when we talk about our budget ideas. Brian, when you need it, you need it by next month, don't you? <clears throat> well, we have our first budget. Okay. 
All right. So you have like two meetings for the last two years. Oh, I didn't. wasn't read. I didn't read yeah. that. So I, I didn't hope see they don't get rid of the park. Get rid of the park. What are you talking about? What's wrong with the steps at the cemetery? They were just looking. Not a nostalgia. Nostalgia. I know a couple years ago we did some uh, stabilization of the bank wall there. So we used to. Well, we did the we, pool retaining wall system at the, the steps that go to the water. The steps that go to the water. Oh, oh, oh! It Good lord! That had that thing was. K or was carved out underneath. Yeah, we stabilized that. So oh. I didn't realize anybody ever I mean does people uh, actually use those? Ago, that was the swimming hole before they built that used that to was be the beach. beach. Oh, before my okay. Yeah, oh, okay. And I did I had I didn't I thought those led right to the water. <laughs> actually, they do. And other oh, things. Okay. Kind of was to be. Anyway. Used to be the beach. <laughs> yes, I remember those days and you knew where to look for kids. Yeah. Oh. Really? Away, yeah. Oh. Back in the day, that's actually that's Thomas. Way thing. back in the day. That's if you follow that through the fence and you follow it all the way around. Yeah. That's the, Thomas Street, and the guy yeah. that lives on to, uh, at the end of East Road. Yeah, he's got a Thomas Street address. Right. That's great. But yep. once they built Riviera Shores, they moved over. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Um, but Crapo retaining wall is still on my yes. wish list. Um, and I know that was on last year's budget, and I don't think we spent any of that money. Yes, we did. Oh, well, we spent some of it. I know we didn't spend it all, though. Do we have big bucks for the waterworks? Yeah, that's what I well, was going to say. And I have one guy that from is very interested. He's got some ideas, so if you want to get that on next. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ideas for? For the decking. Oh, yeah. the waterworks. Oh, at waterworks? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, bring him do. on. I am okay. so okay. anxious yeah, to get that done. That should be first. Uh, I think so. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about our signs that that we were going to check into? Weren't yeah. you? It, that would be part of this. <laughs> the that, new signs that we're getting. Yeah, Six thousand dollars a sign, wasn't it? No, no, nine hundred bucks. Like a, yeah, it was like a thousand bucks a sign or something. Okay. It was like nine thousand dollars for the whole. I thought I had six thousand. Good, 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 good. Yeah, it was like nine grand for the whole deal. Great. Yeah. The thing we, we need. Oh yeah, I have that. Oh, yeah, it was. That's the uh, pla uh, plastic, whatever. Yeah. Stuff. I would recommend doing that sooner than later. Before you have people show back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, on my list for this year, music in the park, twenty five hundred again. Um, the retaining wall at Crapo, I'm throwing a guess out at ten grand. Retaining wall. Um, in the park to create tiers coming down, two steps coming down from the gazebo in the f like in the front from between the gazebo and the play structure, something to come out about ten or fifteen feet, drop oh. down twelve inches, go another ten or fifteen feet, drop down ten inches or twelve inches, so that we don't have one giant retaining wall that's too big to step up. You want to do a terrace, but so that it doesn't also have that sad slope. But I, I agree that Crapo Park or Waterworks um, Park should be right at the top of the list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, there's two right across the shop. I can have them take a look. Yeah, I was thinking to have Ron Dennis do it. You know, do it, do his bid on it. Um, yeah, Ron Dennis. I know ASW and uh, Irish Brothers are right yeah. here across from us. So mm -hmm. I had it, <laughs> and I don't have my <laughs> my satchel with me, but um, I had it mapped out and measured. So I can give you an idea of what kind yeah, of length. You know, we see. I'll, I'll email you the my uh, my fancy drawing and <laughs> guesstimates as to numbers. And I can also let you know for next budget what we have left for this year. Okay. Projects left that we still have to pay for. Okay. Um, so then the uh, then waterworks the waterworks pavilion is the other thing on my list, and I'm guessing a ten grand on that, just to get that started this year. The deck first, though. Well, that would be part of the pavilion. Get that out there. Um, One of the things we've been looking at benches. Is, uh, Didn't we talk about benches over there? And, and swing. Pads, so swing benches, maybe? Right. Do you do yeah. a precast piece on that? Yeah, precast on top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably two or three sections. Yeah. The idea is. Awesome.
free cash should cut down the mm -hmm. construction costs. Pulled all that stuff mm -hmm. off and scrapped it. In the long run, it does, but in the short run, it's a little more expensive. But yeah, because you got to move those giant things. Well, they, the company that does it will come in and sell it for us. Yeah, oh. right. But that can't be cheap to have a drag in a crane and. Well, it's all put in because they charge by the square footage, so it's, it's all, all included. Yeah, it's all included. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so then the other, the last thing on my preliminary list was trees at Lakeside mm. for around the play structure to give that mm -hmm. some shade. Okay. One, one comment on that is I've been working with him on some tree prices and I'm going to okay. try and go out and beat some brush on maple. So to speak. Yeah. And see if we do some donations. Okay. Street side, street side parks? Who? Oh, for Lakeside. We also need them along our streets. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, we're on parks, so I guess we're going to have to take care of parks first. Well, yeah, that's kind of you know what I mean, because <laughs> we that's well needed. Because like I said, I was in there last last July with my granddaughter, mm -hmm. and we uh, cooked out there because there was no place to mm -hmm. sit. We're looking yeah. at two two to two and a half inch caliper trees. Okay, and yeah. we're looking at so, uh, soft maple and uh, crimson maples. Yeah, yeah, something that we can plant, you know, ten or fifteen feet away from the fence that will eventually grow up to, Fast to growing provide some. Really good. Yeah, and I, I'd like to start with at least six trees. I'd be happy with just starting off with, you know, one. <laughs> you know, six set it on the number. set it on the northwest corner or the north south west corner. There are and there are also <coughs> are species that grow faster than others and that we could get something that grows that's gonna be able to provide shade before our kids don't need shade. It'd be great. Yeah, yeah, these will be yeah, low canopy trees like mm -hmm. we have in the village. Mm -hmm. And also I'd like to have some place where we have where the people were donated these trees, you know, posted. Yeah, mm -hmm. then we can put a plaque right at the base well, of it. Well, and the plaques will probably get stolen, so it should probably There's incorporate one of, yeah, yeah, a separate sign or something. Yeah, the uh, plaques uh, are all over the place. Danshaw yeah. Park, and they have yeah. really So anyhow, that's what I've been trying to work on here. That's what I'm going to spend my winter. I'm going to go door to door with my couple of pencils and sell some apples and maybe some trees. <laughs> Great. You and Billy Sunday. Uh, all right. If nobody has anything further, we'll move on to reports. Anything new to report, Brian? Well, like I said, we're working. One of my guys is very interested in ideas for um, waterworks. So we can always put that on the agenda for next meeting and get that. Perfect. I met with him, with Doug and Jerry down at the park, and we kind of walked through what we were expecting, and I haven't heard anything back from them. Okay, so that was in September, I think. I yeah, just see where they're at with that. Well, uh, kayak uh, lockers in part of this, what your friend is doing? There was some discussion on that, yeah. um, either purchasing them or building them into whatever we have. Yeah. Who, who is this that your your guy? Danny. I I don't know who that is. I he just works for the DPW. Okay. Yeah, and he lives over at the bottle, so. Oh, okay. I just wanted to put yeah. it on I'll put it on the agenda for next month. Yeah. Uh, so. maybe he can just give a short presentation. Yeah, that's what he said. He'll come and give a presentation. Okay. Sure. Perfect. Different renderings with Good. different style of railing that's with some different ideas for the equipment and that can safety concerns. Okay. Yeah, cool. <laughs> anything further, Carol? How about you, Katie? You got any anything to throw at us? I'm just here to listen. Okay. I didn't know. <laughs> I Katie. have something from Katie. She uh, was working right. at. Uh, I guess we'll move into board member comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, she says no that she doesn't have anything, but she does. She stopped in and talked to me. I was working at the. Um, Chamber. Chamber of Commerce, and she asked me to write down a list that the DD downtown yeah. DDA was uh, wanting to look at things for um, the three parks, uh, 
Ganshaw, Crapo, and Waterworks for the next 20 years. Oh, yeah. So we got to be. 20 years old. <laughs> she told me to write down some things for that. So, <laughs> anyways, I guess because she told me that, I'm telling you. Yeah, I think Katie had reached out to me a month or two ago about that very same thing. It's great to have long. I gave her a long list of projects. Yeah, I've got, I've got like two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of stuff. It's like a vision. We, we, and that's one thing we should go through is like a, a visioning thing. Yeah. What do we want Holly Township Parks to look like in one year, five years, and ten years? Not more than 10 years because Joyce can't take notes no more. So. <laughs> well, she we told don't me want to township, think big. but we want village. <laughs> yeah, village. You, got, you said township. Oops. <laughs> Put your different hat on. Sorry. <laughs> Wrong hat. Yeah. Turn it around. All right. That sounds like actually a good idea for next month. So everybody bring their visioning hat for next month. Visioning and budgeting. I figured I just Visioning and budgeting. It goes hand in hand. That's so easy. Well, you can put a number on it. I mean, we're just asking for the money. You don't have to find a way. We just have to, we're just trying to come up with ways to spend the money. Well, visioning is good. Asking for it. That's all That's all we're doing. Visioning is good and it's helpful because you save today and you spend tomorrow. So, you know, that way you got something to look forward to. Well, this is something I can share then. So it's been named a National River Trail, yeah. and, and we can thank um, the friends of the Shiawassee River. Sue. And uh, yeah, Sue Julian is part of that. And then there's uh, Dave Wilson. Yeah, but there's, he's part of, the, of it. There's two groups working together, and he's. Good. I saw that. I, uh, I don't care who does it. And the I can't think of the Shiawassee other. Shiawassee River Water Trail. Coalition. <laughs> Something. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. And and, the and, friends of Shiawassee. Right, and, right. And we're actually part of that coalition. As the village of Holly, oh. so we are a member of that coalition. Um, Rick, board member comments. Anything further? Uh, the only comment I have is about the young men that were here tonight. I don't have time to work with them, but I would hope that somebody might mentor them to make sure this is a success that they're doing yeah. for a variety of different reasons. First of all, it's going to help the community, but also help them. Um, I hate to say it, it isn't their fault. They have a great idea, but they're kind of whacking and banging at it. And well, sure, because they don't know what they're, they're doing. They're young kids, so They've they don't know. It. And I, I, as I sat here, I'm wondering who could I get to help them mentor, get this thing put through and have it their idea, their project, but give them the direction that they need. And so if anybody has an idea, I don't have the yeah. time or I'd be very happy to do it with them. Because I think it's an incredibly great, great project, and I just want to make sure they're successful at it, which uh, I think everybody would benefit. The whole yeah. community would benefit from it. I agree. So if you have anybody that you can volunteer. <laughs> I'm going to help are, are them as much as I can. Are these boys still in school? Or are they yeah, they're in, they're school. in the school, So yeah. maybe when they go to the school, there might be somebody at the school that goes, yeah. Well, and that's where I'm going to direct him to. Yeah. Holly Area Youth yeah. Coalition? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh. Aren't they part of backpacks? I, I have a woman that I, I'm, I'm thinking of, and she would be exceptionally good at giving them direction and helping them put it in writing. So when they go before the moves, it's in writing, explaining what they're there for, what they're looking for, and so on like that. Uh, the other side, I, I really, more than anything, I'd like to see them be very, very successful at this fundraiser. That's all I have to say. Nothing. Angie? Uh, no. Angie? Choice. <laughs> no. <laughs> Joe? Uh, one little note. Uh, when we're talking about the Richter, it might not happen this Friday night, but it, it will start 
the following is from 8 till 10 on Friday nights, the frequent flyers are flying in the gym. We nice. got drones, we got people from 19 years old to 85 years wow. old. Mm. 10 to 12 guys flying electric That's airplanes. Fun. 8 to 10 when on Friday nights? Friday Sounds nights. And, uh, we don't know if it's it going to start this weekend or not. <laughs> we, they call us the frequent flyers. Wear your helmet. But it's, uh, it's a lot of bunch of guys that get around together. A couple of them are members of the cloud hoppers, the gas guys out there by the expressway. They run wow. gas planes. Yeah. And this guy's in his 80s, and you know, he's, we're teaching him how to run electric planes. Well, he's teaching us a lot about electric planes, though, too. But, but it's, uh, it's a good camaraderie of people getting together from all over the community, the township, and the village. And it's a lot it's of fun. It's indoors so. or outdoors? Huh? It's in indoor? the gym, isn't it? It's in, indoor? In, oh, yeah, we're flying in the Richter gym. It's in its gas planes? No, oh. electric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to go. <laughs> it sounds like a... Yeah. Yeah. It still Holy sounds crap. dangerous. Yeah, it, well, it does what's way. Planes what's need what. to be at a certain speed to stay in the well, air. Well, some, so. some people with these uh, with these quadcopters, uh, <laughs> you get bean you once in a while, yeah. but oh. everybody takes it good just. But, yeah, we have a lot of fun. Yeah. So that's starting this Friday, hopefully, if not the following Friday. It's a good thing for uh, kids to get into because they can share it with their parents because we even have some ladies that bring their 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 boys and girls and fly these little styrofoam cup airplanes. Oh, there you go. And it's cheap. It's, it's a lot of fun. The guy that uh, we're working out of is the Mama's Old Mexican Hotspot. It's uh, Dave's RC. Right. Yep, right yeah. there at the corner. He's down there. Yeah, he's, he's a wonderful guy. He uh, services what he sells, you know, really good guy to work with. So he's our he's our contact person. Good. So, yeah, we're having fun. When is yeah. it? Friday? Friday or next Friday. Friday. Yeah, either. Hopefully we're trying to get everybody to Everybody's right now at home charging up all their batteries and yeah. putting uh, tape on their planes to put them back together. Yeah, it's, yeah. But if not, it'll be the following Friday. Anything, Gail? No. Sarah? No. Um, I guess I don't have anything either. Um, what was I going to mention? Oh, I have one question. I just thought. Shoot. Of. Whatever happened to the um, archery? Remember, he gave a presentation and wanted to do archery and uh, Cyclone Park. Oh, I haven't heard anything Same from him thing, since. Kind of just kind of yeah, fizzled through. Oh. I, no, I thought that he set something up in a different location. I thought oh, I saw an advertisement that was for, for it. Holly Days, wasn't it? No, yeah. He wanted to do no, it in the summer, a couple of times. We asked him about that. He yeah. Do that date. Oh. Uh, I thought he did his. I thought he did as an event somewhere but else. somewhere so else. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what I wanted to mention. Terry did send me a text. He said the microphones are working. We just can't hear them over the speakers. No. And we're being broadcast on the township's um, YouTube channel instead of the village. So, huh. Not sure why that's happening. but We get these village parks and township parks really. <laughs> 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 I got a lot of people that have been making comments to me about, oh, it must be um, heated. I'm like, no, a different... <laughs> Yeah, that's your township, yeah. Seeing as you're the only public left, did you have any comments? Genevieve Rainey, 134 Park Avenue. Um, so I just wanted to ask a couple questions about stuff that didn't involve what we already talked about, like the parks. and. Um, <clears throat> so for the Cyclone Park. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, the one because uh, I used to live on Baird Street, we used to live right across the street from there. So, um, <coughs> my only concern about that is if you're doing a large garden, that is swampy, mar like squishy ground for a large part of the it year. Is. It's peat, peat moss, yeah. It's so, um, like raised beds would be my suggestion about Are that. Raised, raised beds. beds, oh, okay. If you're gonna do that, yeah. pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, yeah, I think that's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, for accessibility rice. as well. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> 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 you to rice. I like rice. <laughs> yeah, if you did the race beds too, if, if you could make them with a large enough lip where someone could sit, you could do like a bench yeah, around good. the race bed, and then that could be really accessible. Yes. And then if you could have, like a big thing nowadays is partnering um, – seniors with kids mm -hmm. so if you could get kids from the area schools to like 
do things with the seniors. I think that would be a good idea mm -hmm. there. Um, one of the first things I would suggest, though, for doing there is improving the parking lot. The cyclone? Yeah, because it's, mm. it's kind of confusing because there's no, like, lines. You know, it's just like a dirt parking lot. Mm -hmm. So, like, whenever I pull in, I'm like, where do I park? Yeah, it's just yeah. because nobody's striped in. Because so <laughs> yeah. it's not used for anything. Right. So, I mean, that's what I would do before, like, you try to get people out there. And that's just... Well, yeah. Well, I mean, we're probably looking at late, it, best case scenario next year. Yeah. Before it gets, before it, it would be starting to get used and we'll get the lot striped. That yeah. I just I know that was one of my things when I pulled in there, like a... Whenever we did park there, yeah, I was like... I mean, there's only <laughs> there's 20 <laughs> or 30 spots at the park. most, and it wouldn't take... I think Brian could probably whip that out in a few hours. <laughs> By himself. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I do like Sarah's suggestion about having a kitchen there, too, because yep. mm -hmm. I thought about doing, like, a, a class or something, some kind of kitchen class, because I make bread, mm -hmm. and so that might be something that people are interested. If mm -hmm. you could... Or if you're able to have a kitchen that is like inspected or whatever yeah. certified yeah I, then you could have certain cl cooking yeah, or I, whatever I think that would be better here actually having a kitchen that would be like a full setup and where people can come in and rent the room for, to teach classes and we were told they could yeah I yeah, think they get wine by using the kitchen oh. yeah, yeah that's what my that's understanding what, was too specifically off limits okay well that's because yeah, i'm not talking about using the kitchen that's already here i'm saying convert one of the classrooms that oh, okay. doesn't yeah, have anything in it right now and convert that into a, okay. uh, a space that could be used as professional kitchen. Because hmm. I know that they can't use the kitchen here because they use that for the schools. I, no. They just said it's off limits. Right. Cause they I, didn't, I they, they didn't give me an explanation. They just said it was off limits. Because they, okay. they fixed the middle school food here. Oh, okay. Was it yeah. part of the bond, though, that they are going to move the food eventually i imagine well, that'll happen well, they should be able and then maybe that'll they change they should be able to upgrade the kitchen at the middle school if they had the money to right. do the upgrades i'm, I'm well, sure that's part upgrade. of the bond yeah and if they do that then maybe the rules will change and the kitchen here will become available yeah mm -hmm. i just think that somewhere in the community that'd yeah, be yeah, nice absolutely to have there should be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um oh, i had a question about the bowling thing yeah. so are you going to do tickets separately for the bowling like is the 150 you said it was 150? $25. No, 20 for people. how many tickets did you have for it? 150 uh, bowlers. 100, approximately 120 tickets will be available. Okay. For bowlers or? Bowlers. And any, if you were just coming to eat, that could be 100, two, it could be any number. You yeah, want. I don't think there's going to be a I think the limit would be when the place is full. When the place is full, yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, I've, like, we would, I know people that be that don't necessarily bowl, but would be interested in coming and just, like, hanging out. And oh, yeah. And that's what we're hoping, too, is that a lot of people will come and hang out, look at the au uh, look at the raffles, silent auction, <coughs> right. participate in the 50-50s and like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. next time I share that post, I'll mention that you can come and just eat. Yeah. And... You know, support the be a part of the, and be a part of the auction and not necessarily both. Right. Yeah, they've done a lot there. They've improved the lanes. Um, what kind of things are you looking for for the auction? All We're right. looking for anything of value. Uh, at the far end of the scale is I'll be talking with Superior Travel and have them uh, hopefully donate a Las Vegas trip. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, and that is, I've done this before with other nonprofits, and uh, usually the casinos are pretty open to giving out rooms because they're just going to get your money anyways. Right. You get out there. <laughs> so, uh, so you have to talk the airline into getting some free tickets out of them. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the items that we're looking at. The shirts are another item that we're looking at. Uh, a, a bucket of booze is one of the really good sellers that we've done over to the moves where we have like two or three hundred dollars worth of booze in a big bucket and people raffle it off and that usually brings in four or five hundred dollars mm -hmm. so but we're very open to anything at this point in time garden tools well, i've seen garden tools go out artwork artwork oh yeah artwork sports memorabilia sports oh. equipment yeah sports yeah, equipment well, the hot air balloon ride maybe well, well actually there will balloon. be a hot air balloon ride for an auction or a silent auction that they're having in the spring, but it won't be this one. Mm -hmm. And yes, 
Yep. And that's usually about a five or six hundred dollar yep. item. Oh, wow. And uh, they've agreed to. I, I've, oh, it's a veterans one in the spring, the May one. Yeah. They've already have a commitment on that. So anything, any donations that you can give us would be greatly appreciated or get us in touch with somebody that we can talk to. And uh, so I was just thinking like, um, cause we're going to start doing the, these like tokens when we do the snap for the farmer's market. So, but if we could do like a gift certificate or like a token mm -hmm. for like a dollar amount and then like that p person can bring that to the farmer's market and then buy that amount of stuff from the right. vendors and yes. then you know we'll re reimburse the vendors well that has happened with holly foods mckay's curtains, okay where they give a gift certificate a gift certificate uh holly tire is usually very good about giving gift certificates for oil changes wilkinson's yeah yeah so that sort of stuff goes over really well okay Okay, that was it. All right. Okay, Thank thanks. you. Um, thanks for everything you did with the, yeah. the farmer's market, too. Yeah, I'm excited out. for this coming year's yeah. market. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Well, with nothing further to discuss, we'll call the meeting at 832. I didn't ask because I didn't want to get into it, but Mignon was going for his. Oh, yes, I meant to mention that. Yeah, it's up. Oh, yeah, you haven't seen it? There's a little Oh, it's pretty awesome. I had that in my notes. Well, I know he had to. Yeah, it is. He turned 18 this month, so he had yeah, to. Have have, you know, oh, had it, it's to, in. It's I been actually in. had to, I had to meet him at the park before the end of the year for to get a signature. Does it have a lot of books? Yeah, it's full. Oh yeah, it was full. Yeah, cool. I've got it's awesome. It yeah, it's full of books. It is full of books. Hold on, hold on, Katie. Good. <laughs> Long day, and they all are. Except when you're retired, right? Where does that come from? I Yeah. But once you get down there, you make sure all your tools are there. I mean, yeah. I work two days a week at the I forgot. Well, I've gone somewhere almost every day, I think. Just about. Yeah, I do. You go to a lot more than I do. My kids, my youngest son got me a planner for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Our grandson called from Utah just as I was getting